Upper Echelon is brought to you by Deloitte for innovative thinking and thorough strategic planning. Turn to Deloitte. Yanni Mouton, the chairman and founder of the PSG Group, is in our Upper Echelon this week. And Yanni, I know you and I admire or share an admiration for Warren Buffett. It's very interesting uh, where he talks about one should live where the frictional cost of life is lowest. And uh, about a year ago when we had a similar conversation, you were telling me that's one of the reasons as well why you decided to go to Stellenbosch. You can think better. Yeah, it's a small town almost like he's growing up and spend the, his whole life in Omaha. Uh, you have more time to think and less time sitting in traffic. It was interesting talking to uh, Nick Benedel recently from Gibbs, who said the new business power center of South Africa is Stellenbosch. So I guess you're bumping into some uh, fellow mega magnets over there. Yeah, but I think that's over exaggerated. There's a couple of friends, and it's not a mafia. I would like to put that record straight, and it's not so fantastically forced on South Africa business. We have more time to maybe see one another, socialize a bit, and talk about the good things in life. How big is your head office? Uh, it's about 20 people. And you've got a couple of sons in there as well? Yeah, but keep in mind, one of my sons is sitting in Constantia where the asset management operation is, and uh, the other one is with me in Stellenbosch. So it's not that all of the Moton family is sitting in Stellenbosch. And we're, uh, our head office uh, is profitable. It's not a burden on the company. How do you make money from your head office? Uh, this is, we are paid fees to manage certain uh, companies like Zeder, Paladin, and companies like that. They pay us Yanni, just to go back a little bit, the, your story is well known. Um, most people, hopefully listening to this or watching this, will have read your book, or intended to read your book by now, fabulous book that is, uh, that you started again at 50 after being kicked out by your fellow directors. Mm -hmm. If you look back there, not everybody gets a chance to have two goes at the business life. What were the key things you've done differently in the second time round? I think, um, you know, you had the experience setting up a company. It was a successful company. And then you are asked to leave. And then, number one, it's a shock. It's almost a disgrace. You don't want to talk about it. And then you only realize after a while, only you yourself would make a difference and you better get going. And you had the experience and know you've made mistakes and you learn out of mistakes. <coughs> so for me, it took time. Uh, in that period, I did a lot of reading, reading business books, like I discovered Warren Buffett 15 years ago. And that made my days after, you know, it's difficult sitting at home. One day you were the CEO of a company, the next day you're sitting at home. <coughs> so you had to make the best of your life. But th what have you done differently this time around? Um, I think maybe <coughs> I have a bit of an aggressive, because even my wife at that stage said, Yanni, the other pa partners we were 20 in together, can't be wrong. You must have done something wrong as well. And I analyzed myself running a company. I may be too aggressive, maybe too driven, maybe too focused, and not don't spend enough time to understand the human being and be nice and supportive and things that, like that I've learned. <coughs> have you got better at it? I think so. so How? How have, you, even, how have you worked at that? Even, um, but uh, still my family think I'm still not better at it. And uh, I think the advantage is sitting in Stellenbosch and the different operations are situated in different places like Capitec is there, PSG Consult is there, and they have the freedom to build out their own companies without me looking over their shoulders, drive them, and yeah, it's something I've learned. I suppose the other uh, opportunity when you start again is to only work with people you really like. And that's also 
to people, if you get the right people, give them the opportunity in life, they will never disappoint you. Yes, and I've written in the book in cases where people have disappointed me. But people that I believed in, that happened. So the biggest choice of investment is actually not the balance sheet, it's the people behind it. You brought up the word balance. Do you feel that you've been able to balance your life perhaps better in your second, your second career than your first? Uh, for sure. I think what you have, the environment is different. In Joburg, you know, it's the pace is tremendous. The traffic rules, you know, you don't have enough time to think. In Stellenbos, I'm five, four, five minutes away from where I live to where my office is. It's more relaxed. You can walk in and think about your company and the group of companies in the future. Where in Joburg, it's, and I think each and every businessman must make a turn in Joburg or overseas in the Londons of life to understand the, the real pressure of business life. Yanni, we know that Warren Buffett spends his days with a, with a clean diary. He starts reading newspapers in the morning and then gets onto the things that he likes doing. What does your diary look like and what does your day look like? Uh, mine is more or less the same. I start off by reading Afrikaans newspaper at home and then business day and business report at work. And I even have time to do the sedukas before really. But why I am doing the sedukas? I'm thinking, what? What is is there some opportunities in life and or in business? And that keeps my it's fantastic. And I even think at night time. You know, if you somebody once said, you know, you work during daytime in his company and at night time he dream about things to do. And my life is more or less the same. I can never switch off totally from PSG. And from your business? No. I like even to discuss it with my wife at ends with my children, my family, I live for PSG. And what about uh, when you're making a decision on to invest in a company or to even take a majority stake in a company? Have you got key investment ratios that you uh, punch in or is it more a people story? You must get a feeling for the value. You know, <clears throat> and we often discuss this, a nice, good, growing company you can buy it at 20 p. But if the company is not growing and the management is not creative, you don't necessarily buy a, a bargain at a 4 or 5 p. Is that your big key, your ratio that you look at the price? You, have, ratio? you have to look at growth, growth potential. I think that's, is the company going to grow profits on a good, solid way forward? Then you can place a value in it. Warren Buffett then to take profits into the future and try to discount it back and then get his own price. And you have to form something like that in your, in your mind. What is the growth potential? And then put a, a value on that. Now a balance sheet, PE ratio gives you guide, uh, guidelines for sure. If you have a look at some of the businesses that you've invested in, uh, Capitec, the growth there has been astonishing. Uh, Curo, the growth there is promised to be equally exciting. Have you, if you could maybe look at those two as, as, as options, with Capitec, did it surprise you on the upside? And Curo, are you not being maybe a bit optimistic? On, on Capitec, there's no doubt that um, Mahila Ru as chairman and Rian Stazen as CEO have done an unbelievable job. And they are still doing that. And this company is still growing at a tremendous pace. We struggled. We had, we call it PSG Specialized Lending, where we had a business in payroll deduction and a, a business buying up all sorts of loan shark companies throughout South Africa. And it was difficult years, but we had a dream that there is a market. Now, Capitec is an unbelievable success story. Curo, to talk say something about Kuro. 
Euro can't be that profitable for the next couple of years because we invest heavily in new schools. And each and every school you build as a sort of a J-curve. The first couple of years, there's just not enough uh, kids in school to make a profit. But we don't care because we're building uh, a group that one day when the pace of buying new schools, uh, then the profits will come through. Euro is an exciting group. Education is deep in my heart what I believe we need to make a better South Africa. What keeps you skipping to work in the mornings? I think uh, uh, people like the Kuros, there are numerous other opportunities, whether it's in energy, the PSG Consult Group, if I uh, listen to the radio and read in the papers, PSG Consult is always prominent there. They have 216 offices now. But I'm also proud in companies like Cap Agri, Pioneer. Pioneer went through a tough time with the Competition Commission uh, saga. But it's, it's wonderful, it's people. And you think, what can you do to help those people to run their businesses better? And how do you decide on the people that you bring into the group or the people, in fact, that you invest in? Um, it's, it's sometimes there is an operation with people in it. And if you believe in them, uh, they will grow with the right people. Yeah, you might make mistakes. And I actually wrote about two examples where I underestimate, I didn't do enough research on the people. And that's important to learn something in life, is not to focus only on the balance sheet, but to look at the people behind the company as well. Yanni, just to close off with, the one thing that has surprised me is that you haven't taken the big secret of Warren Buffett's, and that is finding an, invest an insurance company so you can use the float. That's what he loves. He loves to have other people's money that he can invest on, on okay. uh, and, and make a good return on. Is that in your future? Alec, as you remember, our first acquisition, almost one of the first, were Channel Life uh, Insurance Company. And I had my hands in the float. In 97 and 98, when the market was high, and helped them to invest. And then the market came down and I almost burned my fingers open. And I realized a lesson. First of all, you must have a good insurance company before you can use the float. And we almost bought an insurance company to create the float. But uh, that is a secret of him, and uh, we don't have it at the moment, and it's not a priority to get the insurance company. Just to close off with Yanni, uh, professional managers say that you believe to be in a business for no more than five to seven years. Clearly that isn't, uh, isn't holding true in your case. Are you still excited to be, uh, to be like Buffett in that respect, still to be running the group when you're 81? Uh, you know, it's a wonderful question because he's my mentor and he's 16 years older than I am, so I think I have still 16 years to go before thinking of retirement. Yanni Vuitton is the chairman and founder of the PSG Group. Upper Echelon was brought to you by Deloitte. For innovative thinking and thorough strategic planning, turn to Deloitte.